So basically, guys, I have the um, Radio Shack 12 volt power supply here. I have it plugged in the uh, pump. And basically, it's giving me 8 volts coming out. Uh, so not enough to light 12 volt bulb or a headlight but uh what's interesting here is that i have five five bolts coming in and i'm able to create and i have eight bolts coming out right so right there you got more than more dc coming out than it's going in but uh, the problem is, can this DC run a pump? And that's what I gotta find out. So, but I don't think it can. It's still very interesting, very interesting. Now I'm gonna set this here to AC. Uh, 250 volts AC. Move this wire so you can kind of see that AC right there, volts in the red. Well, let's get this thing started. Um, well, let me reconnect. I'm connected to the 12 volt power supply. <laughs> the ground for sure. The lights got brighter. This way I got zero volts. Unplug this power supply. Basically zero volts. How, am I, how could I be running this fan right now on zero volts? Now the fan is not going on. I short it. Let me get this thing shorted. The fan's going on. It's zero volts. Crazy man. Now uh, this thing will probably short everything out.
So with zero volts, I don't understand how some of these things are, are running, you know? Like, how, the fan, how's that running? Look what kind of fan this is. Alright, on zero volts. Let me do this one more time. Fan turning on. I turn this light off here. It doesn't move. Very little bit. That's with the short. And now I'm going to take the short off. Stop. Short it again. Let me short it again. The fans turn it on on zero volts. Okay. Let's unplug everything. Disconnect that short. Figure out what we're doing here. Now we're back up to 200 volts. Everything gets brighter on zero volts. Plug the fan in. Zero volts. Fan is running. It's a big bulb right here. Cranking, that fan is cranking, guys. It's going in reverse. That fan is spinning the other way. But it's cranking. So it looks like it's going in reverse. And guys, this is all on 5 volts DC. I'm running this pump. Uh, and, I mean, this is something else, this stuff. Just connect that short. And now uh, we'll go back to the field. Turn this off. Turn that off. Disconnect. Do a lot of So this stuff is really awesome, this power. I'm freezing, guys. I gotta go in.
So, yeah, that's something else. Zero. Except, except the uh, control box. And that's not even connected to the, the switches are off, so. But, uh, yeah, amazing, amazing. I'm going to try to find a something like a light with the 12-volt uh, power supply here. 8 volts. <laughs> what I'm getting out. So I'm getting out more, and then I'm putting in the whole entire system here. With the 12 volts using this power supply. Which is pretty cool. So the pump's putting out 200 volts. Then it drops way down when I put the lights on to zero. And when I short it over here, the lights get brighter and I can run a fan. Probably run another bulb, you know. So anyway, thanks for watching. The mysteries of the uh, drawer more and pump system here and the radiant energy that's being created. I'm trying to come up with uh, some more stuff, some spark gaps and stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. And a step-up transformer. I was going to put out a lot of power, you know. So anyway, thanks for watching.